Hi, this is Jim with Lido Radio Products, and I want to take a few minutes to show you how our adapter plate for the Lido Radio mounts uh, attaches to a Yaesu control head, like the Yaesu FTM100 or FTM300 or FTM350, or like we have here, which is the FTM400. Um, this will also work on the FT891. Basically, the thing they have all have in common is they have a hole in the back right here, and this hole is a five millimeter threaded hole uh, that will accept our mount. So when you order a Lido mount um, and you select that you have either a Yaesu FTM400 or one of the radios mentioned earlier, we're going to send you this upper portion that looks like this, which basically has a five millimeter screw on it. And depending on the mount you get, you might order an 81, uh, which would look like this, which would attach to a double T type mount. Or you might get something like this, which is an 83, which will attach to an extension plate or this also works on the pro clip type mounts, uh, the VSM mounts, um, it has a four hole amps pattern on one end. Or if you order the CD mount, you're going to have uh, the upper portion as well. Um, the thing all of these mounts have in common, as you can see, they all have a, a 17 millimeter ball that's attached. Um, and that's also commonly known as the Garmin, Garmin ball because it's the same size of ball that Garmin uses to attach to their GPS products. So you're going to receive that. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how it hooks up to an AD1. Um, so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do, which is really the tricky part, is uh, we're going to thread this 5 millimeter screw into the back, we call this the upper portion, into the back of the control head. The key to this whole thing, where we get the most calls on, is you've got to secure this down where it's nice and tight, like so. And once it's tight, that means it will clear the ball when we put it all together. If you don't have it tight enough, it won't clear the ball and the whole thing won't go together. So the next step is we're going to take this unit called the retaining ring, which comes with um, all of the mounts, um, adapter plates that we would send. And in this case, it's the AD1. And we're just going to slide it over the, uh, the, the 17 millimeter ball. At this point, we're going to take the 17 millimeter ball and we're just going to attach it, snap it into the socket like so. And after we have it attached to the socket, we're just going to take the retaining ring and tighten it up. And so now we've attached an, an 81 uh, to our FTM 400 control head. And this, uh, this would go with any of our uh, mounts that uh, uh, any of our adapter plates that would go with the Yaesu units like the FTM 100 uh, FTM 300, FTM 350, FTM 400, and the FT 891. They're all the same. Um, depending on the mount that you have from Lido, uh, that would be the adapter plate that we would send you. So if you do have any questions, please uh, please email me at jim at lidoradio.com and I'd be glad to get back to you. Thank you.